Hey, Mower Mike here at Texas HQ, and we're gonna make one more foam fill tire video. Now, I've struggled uh, with the foam fill tire videos. If you've seen them in the past, I've released a couple. I've had a lot of failures, but uh, we've had an RD department on it. I've had a lot of feedback from the Mower Mike crew online, just comments from my videos, what I'm doing wrong. Apparently it was a lot, so I've learned a lot and we're going to put it all into this video. I've got approval to do one more video. So what we're going to do is we're going to do foam filled tires. You can say that three times. We're going to do a little one, a medium one, a large one, and I'm going to show you the right way to do it. And then at the end, for a little treat, we're going to open up one of these guys and see how it looks on the inside. So with that, we'll get started. Now, foam filled tires. I've made the mistake. First thing you want to do Gloves, put gloves on. This stuff will get all of your hands, impossible to get off, except with warm lemon juice. Uh, other than that, you want your eye protection here because this is a foam crap that you do not want in your eyes. All right, so let's get started. Uh, what you need, first of all, is foam. So, you know, I've gone back and forth. Gaps and cracks is the best foam for uh, what we're using here. I've used the other foams. This one, expands more and actually is a firmer foam uh, through all of our studies here. Gaps and cracks is the way to go. You can get this one. I've got an Amazon link below. This has got the new uh, nozzle here, which is pretty cool. It works a little better than the stock version at Lowe's. Uh, so gaps and cracks foam, great stuff. <clears throat> also a drill. So I've done the wrong way where I thought you could just fill it through the valve stem and then cap it, but that, that just doesn't work, ladies and gentlemen. We need a drill. We're gonna have to drill holes in these tires in order to do this the right way. And if you watch my other videos, uh, you'll find out why. So let's start with a smaller video, a uh, smaller tire here. So what we're gonna do, take the drill. The first step is the 5 16th drill. I've gone back to electric, 1990s, baby. And what we want, you wanna come all the way around. Come all the way around. I'm, I'm being liberal with this. This is a 5 16th drill. What I found out is, in order to make this work, the, the foam needs an area to expand. You know, it can't just sit there and then you just cap it. Because once you do that, then the foam just, it doesn't actually foam. You know what I mean? Because foam is bubbles. See, look at that. So we're getting some, some foam coming back through. I'm gonna go ahead and just go all the way around. You want it to expand. So I'm hitting it here. You know, as it, as it pushes out, you're going to hear it because the air is going to push out through these holes. And you just essentially want it to fill all the way up. So I like hitting all these holes. And that fit 5, five sixteenths hole is just about right uh, for what we're doing here. And as you see, a smaller tire like this doesn't take much foam, really. I got maybe half a can of foam in there, and it's already splooging out. Uh, so as you can see... That should be good on that. All right, so a slightly bigger tire. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna have more holes in the last one. So again, that 15, 16. Make sure to have your eye pro on here. Guys, I can't tell you how many times I've done it the wrong way. I've tried to shortcut it. <laughs> it just, if you're gonna do this, do it the right way. Take it off the tire. Take the tire off the mower and get your uh, drill going there and just start hitting it. So with these bigger tires, you know, this one will probably take a full can of foam. As you can see it going in here. So I'll probably have to hit it with another one here. Okay, so for these bigger tires, you can see it's probably going to take a full can. I'm still waiting for it to pop out. Um, you know, the most important part with this that I had to come to find out is that it needs air to escape. At first I was trying to fill through the valve stem and then cap the valve stem, but the problem with that is when I cap that valve stem, it would put air pressure in there and the foam needs air to foam, you know? It's not gonna make the bubbles if it's pushing against itself and fighting against itself. So what, what these drilled holes do, allow that air to come out and that, that foam to expand up in there, which is what it needs. Maybe I'll double fist it, you know? Maybe I'll throw, a, throw another can in here. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah, now we're foaming. 
Look at that. Now we got two cans of foam pumping in this sucker. Yes, I like it. I like it. We're getting a little loose on this side. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, now this is taking more foam than I originally planned on this one. So we're at almost two full cans of foam. Oh, there we go. You can see it's starting to come out now. So, <laughs> whoa, we got a geyser. All right, so it looks like she's finally filling up the foam here. And, uh, you know, these bigger tires, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Have that foam come all the way around. You can see it's starting to come out through the different holes as, as we roll them around. So, now when you fill it up, you just want it to come out through all those various holes. So that way you know that sucker is full of freaking foam, which looks like this one is. So what we're going to do is that we're going to leave this overnight and then come back and see what it looks like in the morning. Alright, I'm also going to do one more little tire here. This is off a little snapper. Just to show you guys, especially with the new can of foam, this has got the easy, easy apply applicator. It just has a little smaller tip on there. It makes it easier. Oh yeah, look at that. See this one, it's come out much easier than the other stuff. Whoa, this tire has got a lot going on. Um, yeah, apparently there's a lot of water in this tire. Wow. We're getting some uh, <laughs> stuff flying everywhere. So, yeah, you get a lot more higher pressurized intake with this one. I like these cans better. Uh, you can get them on Amazon to your house for $7. Link below. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, look at that guy. All right, this one is definitely full of foam. Let me go ahead and top this one off, too, while we're at it. Shoot, why not? You know what I mean? We're just foaming the piss out of some tires today because I want this thing to be full because my goal is <laughs> once I'm done with this thing I want to open her up man I want to see if this thing really set up or not I've had so many fails with this uh, so Robin this is for you and all my fails so we've got definitely we've got some expansion going on we've got multiple multiple holes in this tire and uh, hopefully she's uh, she sets up right I cannot have another fail like I had with that freaking Aggie that told me this would work without holes. So, look at that. All right, so we've got a foamy mess on our hands. That's three bottles of foam in. And uh, here we go. So we got the medium, large, and small. And we'll see what she looks like tomorrow. All right, mower bike back here the next morning. And holy cow, what happened overnight? Uh, we've got foam. As you can see, uh, the foam expanded quite a bit here. It's like, it just went, oh my gosh, what a freaking mess. Look at this foam. Obviously, I used a little more than, than what was needed. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. So I'm going to try to get this cleaned up here. Um, on the smaller tires, you can see here, it worked really good. A lot easier to clean up. Uh, oh yeah, we've got a good foam tire there. This guy here, uh, another raging success here. It's got a real firm tire, you can tell it's set up good. And this guy, see what happened is with a bigger tire, I kept shoving more and more foam in there. And, you know, I probably should have waited to let it expand a little bit before I kept pumping it full of foam. But what I'm going to do, we're going to get this thing cleaned up. <laughs> we got like foam art here. All right, so what I'm going to do, just to test this out, I'm going to slice this tire open and see what's going on in it. See, there's fluid going on. I'm tired of just guessing what's going on with my my foam filled tire videos. So it's it's pretty amazing with that foam in there. It's actually giving a little back pressure on that tire. So when I start slicing, it just peels open like a like a dang Christmas present. So. All right, so we're coming around the outside here. 
Do this, don't cut yourself. Well, not that you would ever do this. This is just pure for YouTube gold here. Oh yeah, look at that. See it pop back on me. I am very, very curious how this works out. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this, all right. So as you know for sure, this is the first time I've seen this. Oh my gosh. We have foam. This is not empty like my last tire video. Look at that, we got a tank. Foam tire. Come on, baby. Stragglers here. It's pretty thick rubber on this tire, actually. Oh my gosh. Alright. Look at that. Isn't that something? We've got a foam tire. Alright, so I think we've proved how foam tires work. Um, for sure, drill the holes in it. It needs time to expand, it needs air to expand. And look at this. I mean, you'll never have a flat tire with this thing. It's a little ugly, uh, but uh, she'll work. <laughs> so with that, this is my last foam tire video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's nothing else I could do. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and uh, we'll have some more fun. More Mike out.